Hey everyone, and welcome to our special interview with Blackman's football coach, General Tiger. Uh, coach, last week the team suffered a 55-20 loss against the Summit Spartans. So, as you were watching the film after the game, what adjustments do you think you could have made to stop the Wade brothers just a little bit in their high-powered offense and defense? Well, honestly, we just didn't uh, we didn't play very well defensively. I was proud of how we did on offense. Um, we had multiple people spying the quarterback, but when the kid is six uh, five, two hundred twenty pounds, and okay. runs a four 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 five, uh, and is you know going to probably win Mr. Football, he's hard to stop. Yeah. So, I think he ran six times. He scored four touchdowns, and yeah. you know they got a big lead, and then they put uh, five across on defense, making us run the ball just to try to keep us from scoring fast. Uh, but I'm proud of the way the kids played. I mean, they didn't give up and they fought to the end, and so there was some good positive coming out of it uh -huh. so throughout the game were you ever affected like were you and your coaching staff affected by the noise the, like rowdiness and right. the atmosphere at Spring Hill our coaches no I mean we're all used to that we've all you know coached in state championship games and stuff before uh, now our players yes um, and that's what I've been saying all along is we've been doing a lot of things great Sunday through Thursday and then you put a crowd in the stands and then they kind of lose their minds so I wish we could play two games a week just so they could see you know they're getting more and more used to the big crowds and the big atmospheres and I think the more of those games we play the better they'll get uh, but you know that only being our um, you know third game yeah that's that's probably the challenge you know because that was an awesome atmosphere against another top five team as the season progresses like each week will only bring more challenges and obviously things will not always go your way what can you do you know to prevent like the fans and the players from like not being discouraged that's football that's life you know it's not always gonna go your way um, you know, we've played three games, two of them are against uh, the number three and number four team in the state, so that's going to be a big challenge, right? Um, but you got challenges, you're right, all, all year long, um, and you just got to push through those. That's why we have such hard summer workouts, that's why we do all this stuff in the spring, that's why we run Tiger Hill. Uh, they're used to getting in adverse situations, we just got to get used to the big crowd and the big games and the big situations, uh, and I think we can start powering through the more we do that. Coach, uh, this week is a special one since it's homecoming and we had the chance to play Stewart's Creek. Um, you know, they haven't been able to play a few games because of COVID issues, um, but they do have a lot of talent on their team. Mm -hmm. What will it take for us as a team, you know, to step up and uh, score some points this Friday? Well, we need to minimize the distractions with homecoming week. So you've got the parade and all these dress up days and, you know, stuff that's really fun. And I encourage the players to participate in that as much as they can, but at the same time, be mature enough to where when it's football time, let's lock in on the football. Um, and we just have to play our game. Uh, two weeks in a row, we've just given away points. We've handed it to the other team on the goal line or we've thrown interceptions for touchdowns. So we can't do that and win any games. If we play our game and play the way we're supposed to play, we feel good against anybody. Um, but you know, when you, when you hand the ball to the other team, you're not gonna do well against anybody too. So mm -hmm. uh, we've just gotta get better. We've had a great week of practice so far. Yes. And um, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll be a win on Friday. Uh, Coach, would you like to add anything to this, um, to those watching? Uh, now just come on out to the game. It's homecoming. It's going to be a big crowd, uh, another big crowd, awesome atmosphere. Um, you know, we've got one of the best places to come watch a high school football game, and uh, there's all kinds of surprises all year long. So come on out and watch us go blaze. All right. Um, and that's all we have for today. Uh, thanks, Coach, for stopping by and giving us a quick recap on the team and where we're headed as a program. See you there at Friday night at the Inferno at 7 o'clock. Go Blaze.